Mr. Viscotti. Hey! If you would, sir. Thanks, Joe Viscotti. Thanks, Viscotti, thanks for having me here. Um, I'm Joe Viscotti. I'm from West Hartford. Hey, let me get my prom for you. One second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got props. Okay, here's going on. Uh, if you don't know about me, I won't be long tonight because everything's on my website. You can go to Visconti for Governor. There'll be a little uh, flyer coming out here. You'll see over 36 videos. If you want to know in depth what I'm going to do, you want to go to look at a video called Truth Seekers. And it's a one hour special that was televised on just about every detail of government pension reform and what I'm going to do. Too much words for tonight about that. I want to report to you tonight a few things. I'm from West Hartford. I was a counselor in West Hartford. And I ran for Congress in 2008 against um, John Larson. And in West Hartford, if you can become a Republican there, you can become a Republican anywhere. Very liberal town. And right off the bat, some of the people I've been fighting for a decade in West Hartford are Andy Fleischman, um, who's the co-chair of the Education Committee, Beth Byer with the Transgender Bill, Kevin Sullivan, the tax man, uh, former mayor um, of West Hartford, and uh, um, Jonathan Harris. The um, former mayor who's the executive director of the Democrat Party. And find these guys tooth and nail, very liberal West Hartford, used to be a Republican town, and I went to Hall High School and graduated from there. I'm a contractor by trade, commercial contractor, I've done multi million dollar projects for over 40 years. And my dad in business, from Aetna to the Hartford Insurance, uh, Sheridan Hotels, just about every Fortune 500 in Connecticut. So my background is phased projects, fast track, some mixed use, union and non union and a very heavy regulated uh, industry. And so I mean, my approach to state government is to turn the, uh, what I call Connecticut, the state of Connecticut is a burning ship that's sinking and drifting into the rocks. And we're gonna need to pump her out, uh, put the fire out, throw anchor out, so we, we basically take control of the uh, state of Connecticut and do it over a period of time. We cannot over promising, we cannot turn Connecticut around in one or two years. Uh, Democrats are waiting for us to say we can do miracles. Um, what we're doing, uh, the, th the three issues tonight I'd like to hit real quick. Number one is Common Core, it's going to be a game changer. Tomorrow at the Capitol, room 1E e, one e at 3 uh, at, at 1 o'clock. 12. There will be, 12 o'clock, I'm sorry, there will be a, a public hearing. Now, I launched a crusade against the Common Core for months. And when we started on council, I was a uh, liaison to the Education Committee. I've been fighting liberals in our town for years. Uh, we have a great town because we fight hard on it. Common Core is an issue, if you're not familiar. Get familiar. Uh, Larry Caffero did a great job at the Capitol after we, uh, a couple weeks after we launched our crusade in the first statewide Common Core um, seminar uh, to hold a hearing, a partial hearing, I'll say, because it's not what we really want. It's a game changer because we can recruit women into our party through Common Core. We already have the feedback from moms, from teachers. Uh, where we've lost a lot of women, the parents will come with us. Democrats are trying to run out the clock. Uh, they have control of it. If it continues and Common Core goes forward, it's all the Democrat fault. And it's the truth, and it will be. It will go forward. Um, there's an opt-out policy we're looking into to find out where we can clearly show, that's going to come out of the state capitol, where we can clearly show parents how they can opt out. Just so you understand, Common Core does not exclude Mastery tests, exams, quizzes, and everything that already is in schools. It's, a, it's the Obamacare of education. It's one of the issues we will win on. CBI says there's three top things that people are concerned with. Number one is jobs. Number two, taxes. And number three, education. The CEA, the teachers unions now, are walking the line because they don't want to lose the teachers. Game over. We're going to take this issue. And what Malloy's going to thank, so we're going to take this issue and go further, farther and farther with moms and grassroots efforts. Hopefully the Republicans... Uh, Come on board. Second issue is, is the Second Amendment. It's a game changer. <clears throat> there are one issue voters, uh, hundreds of thousands of them, and they will um, put us in office and they will come out hard for us. It's in the works. I've been working for years on that with the CCDL and uh, I carry a gun. I'm the gun candidate. Martha Dean's in the racism today. She doesn't carry a gun, but uh, good luck to Martha in uh, her trials to, to get into the race. Um, so Tony's leaving. I'm so upset. I'm sure she's going to talk, but I loved you on the road. I almost, almost was going to tweet today, uh, but I got swamped with other things. But it's been a great race to be in it. The candidates are really great, and uh, it's, I sang uh, happy birthday to John McKinney at the, uh, at the uh, Heritage uh, Village last week. So we do get along, and I want to put that out there because Democrats want us to fight each other. And that's not going to happen. A lot of my pet tax policies are on the Truth Seekers video, and right away it's a facing out of the sales tax is my big, my big thing. You can read more about it and watch more about it on the um, 
on the video. Uh, we are against minimum wage. Right now, we're putting 5,000 of my flyers in every Italian restaurant, barbershop, mom and pop shop across the state. 25,000 postcards. Five minutes. Well, Here we go. I'm, all right, we're over. <laughs> we're doing a campaign. We're running a grassroots campaign for a general election in a convention season. Convention will come. We'll do our part. But we are looking to take every small business owner on my Facebook page today. You'll see testimonials from all, all body shops that have my posters in their windows. And we're running grassroots. We don't have a lot of money. Um, but this is key to us because small business owners are with us and we want them with us. So I'll take a quick question if there's anything. What is your position on Common Core? Against Common Core. Common Core needs to be, first of all, it's been botched as a rollout and it needs to be stopped in Connecticut until at least parents are clear how they can opt out. So if somebody moves from Connecticut to someplace else, uh, the education should be completely different. No, many, many states are opting out of Common Core. It is a federal program that does a test. That was very important about to understand Common Core. Common Core has not been tested. In September, we're going to start what's called the test of the test. So basically, our kids are guinea pigs. This is federal, and it's information they're gathering for federal rating teachers, rating schools. It has nothing to do with the rest of education. It's just more federal <laughs> regulations and the rights of parental rights and educational rights I'm fighting for. And I believe you'll see that, um, that the people don't like it more and more. It just became an issue because I made it an issue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.